palm-sized specimen of a uh, matrix of Chalcedony running through some, uh, maybe some quartz. Uh, and perched on top of this is this lawn of uh, fluoride crystals. Now the color on these fluorides is pretty interesting. Um, I've been led to believe over the years that we're looking at the deposits of Orange River Warrenbot, Warrenbot on these. Could be from Fjolstrift to almost a yellowishness. This reminds me of a section of the Okarusa fluorite. I think it was the number two pit where you had the fox speck uh, uh, fluorite. Sort of a yellow intermixed with a, with a purple going into a blue. Um, from a display point of view, if you have it lying flat on a turntable like this, you see these chubby fluorite crystals perched on the, on the matrix. And then of course with good lighting you'd be able to see this variation of color, most likely a little bit of a yellowishness intermingled with a lovely blue. Let's go a little bit closer. Also the, the formation is pretty intricate and it's as if uh, in Okarusa for instance you'd find that the, the uh, cubic crystals make steps building into the main temple or the main crystal and in this case the steps uh, are same uh, uh, formation, just the steps seem a little bit almost rounded off all the way from uh, Orange River uh, Warmbad, little town of Warmbad on the Orange River Namibian side or perhaps even for Yolstriff a little bit of confusion as to that provenance at this stage but Orange River fluoride nonetheless look at the patterning there on that cross section